Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're on our way to Norwich versus Arsenal. So, uh, gloves are on. <laughs> early predictions. I'm going. Uh, well, we've seen the team. Uh, one change to the Norwich team uh, from, Everton. from Everton, which we won two 0 So it's good to be coming into a video on the back of a win. <laughs> Makes a change. Uh, we. So the one change we've made is obviously Teddy's. They said would be out, um, and Amadou's come in. And I actually fancy us, and I know people, I'm probably going to get loads of comments from people going, why are you, you know, why are you being so optimistic, but I'm <laughs> going 2-0 Norwich. You've got, you've got to be, I kind of feel bad about stuff I said after the Watford game now. I, I, I've never but won, before just... a match, I always predict a Norwich win. Yeah. So, well, train go by. From, apart from Man City, and then we yeah. won. Okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> with an exception of Man City and Liverpool, because those two are just ridiculous. I would be insane to actually predict an yeah. orange win there. Yeah. But with the exception of them two, uh, and maybe Leicester as well, I'm, I'm going to say draw for Leicester game match. I will always predict an orange win, and sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. Aston Villa fans didn't seem to understand the fact that like, you just back your team. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, I kind of feel bad after the last video. If you watched the last video against, the, I like, before I the match I was positive. Scathing. Afterwards, yeah. anyway, just because it is, you know, you down. But so are the players, the players don't want this. The players, you know, they're all human beings. They all want to. Get I to mean, go as well. I mean, they do. So, but that doesn't make them like free from criticism, though. That's the thing. No. But uh, I think we'll win. I think we will. I think both teams will score. That's the difference. In the case of so you think two one? Yeah. I mean, either that. I just think. Because um, Arsenal's defence is so poor, and so is in recent matches. We haven't seen Zimmerman too much yet, but in recent matches, ours has been poor as well. With I the think, exception I of Everton, it could be an entertaining match potentially. It could, you know, it could be a bit of a basketball match. So, I mean, I hope it's entertaining, but entertaining <laughs> our way. Yeah, as long as it's. I mean, I wouldn't mind like a six-five maybe. Wait, we can't crush it. Uh, I wouldn't mind, you know, something like that where we see plenty of goals. But uh, I would rather, I would rather us sneak a one 0 win, yeah. where oh, yeah, we keep a clean sheet and, and everything goes to plan. <laughs> I mean, I'd uh, rather get it right and be two 0 but yeah. I think, I think two. We're going to try to be positive. So two one. Wow. You, we'll you have to be positive. You'll see my face afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of this video, our faces will be very different from this. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so, uh, we will see you at the ground now. See ya. Do something. What? Do something. Do something? Yeah. Right. Good night. <laughs> Whoops. Bye bye.
find something wrong with every penalty. That is incredible. And they've given it, they've given it again. They've given it another one. So, undoubtedly, Aubameyang will go and score it. Half time, two one. Uh, a positive half time team talk. Very, very mixed though. <laughs> VAR. I mean, with the, the second Honestly, penalty, that, made me, that scored. made me furious. You'd be retaking every single penalty in history if you're going to retake for credit. And I've seen online since that from the second penalty there was still a credit. Yeah. But, oh, so they scored. Nah, it's not retaken. Really it might. But anyway, then we take um, take a chance on uh, Arsenal's horrendous defending. It was literally like what, just going into injury time, wasn't it? Or yeah, in injury yeah. time. Take, uh, yeah, taking you know because I thought before the game, you know, I think both sides were awful. Arsenal's defence is awful at the minute, and uh, we took advantage of that, and we scored. It was a lovely goal. They said obviously it's bad defending, but at the same time, we need, we have been missing those recently, and see this game we've taken. Had a good finish, and Todd Gantz also had a great finish. So, and I think defensively, with Zimmerman in there, like I said, even though apparently he gave away the penalty for handball, he's made us look an awful lot more solid. Oh yeah, no. Game. Um, um, and before the match, I said I said to Tom, I don't know if I I don't remember saying it in the video. I probably should have done. You're probably going to say I'm a liar. But I said before the match, Timmy Pukki, Todd Cantwell, and they both scored. So there we are. Yeah, and. Um, yeah, also, with, uh, from what we can see from up here, at the other end of the pitch, uh, someone had to clear off the line. Yeah. Uh, and that was in the first five minutes. Yeah, and Tim Cole's also made a good save, from what we can see, it looks like, anyway. Arsenal. So they've had their chance, they've had a lot of corners, Arsenal, but yeah, uh, we've managed to deal with that, and it's a lot more positive on, you know, with playing... I still have to say, we're really playing at our top, top best, but we've we're looked, effective. We've looked effective and much better in this game. We're, we're very solid and, in the back, um, and then we're, when we get the chances going yeah. forward, we'll take it. And no one was happy about that penalty retake after, and that's, that's taken five penalties for opposition players in Cairo to score, past the Governor and Cruel. Is so, it five though? So I think it's five. And I think one of them, one of them was away. Yeah. Well, McGovern saved one. Cool saved two against Man United, he saved another one here, and then they scored. That was the last place for the left him. No, it was at the Aston Villa game where he saved another one. Yeah, it was. Uh, that was no, McGovern. That was, that was McGovern. Yeah. So, and yeah. then Watford, I think. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, either way, yeah, so second half to come. Uh, we've been in this position against Man City, and we went and scored early on in the second half. Went on to win the game 3 2. So Let's hope more of the same. But yeah, but there's much more positive vibes, honestly, about this one. And yeah. we look like we're sticking together. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great to see what they're doing out there. It's amazing so. what happens when you have players playing in a natural position. I yeah, have exactly. To say. Yeah, Amadou's looked solid in the field. So yeah, he's made a couple of quite good interceptions. Yeah, well, so. I'm glad he's in the field. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, second half to come. Hopefully, we win. Come on. Yeah.
Okay, so we're sat in Tom's car. It was raining, so we didn't do the video on the way back. Finished 2 2. Um, fairish result. Uh, obviously, yeah, there was three kind of big chances. We should have won it. Kenny McLean. <laughs> Kenny McLean had a great chance, which Bernd Leno pulled off an incredible save. Good goalkeeper, in all fairness. Yeah. He was he did really well. I think Aaron's had a chance as well. That was defended. Aaron's yeah, Aaron's chance hit. Good uh, save. Apparently Torreira's backside. Yep. Uh, yeah. and <laughs> and um God what an arse. Uh but um yeah, no, uh Canton had a good chance as well on his left foot. Pookie turned the defender had a chance, good save, I think. So yeah. at the end of the day, like if you just said before the game, like a draw against Arsenal, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get a draw against you Arsenal. Usually you'd take been, it. You'd yeah. have been happy, and it does feel a bit. With two games unbeaten, young. it does. It does feel <laughs> like um, we should have. We should have won that one. Yeah, yeah. It does feel like two does, points dropped based on the performance. Bit, but Arsenal also had a few good chances. Uh, as, as I said, as far as far from what we saw. Uh, they had a um, uh, shot, yeah, clear off the line, and Kroper, I think, made a good save. Uh, it was a good yeah. Bamiyang finish for the equaliser, to be honest. It was um, a really weird game because but yeah, it there was, was kind of back and forth, like I kind of imagined, like a basketball match, really. Yeah, there was 20 minutes at the beginning of the match where Arsenal absolutely dominated. Yeah. 20 minutes at the end where Norwich absolutely dominated, but there was no goals in, our, in any of them. <laughs> yeah, the, I know. the periods yeah. where there was all the goals was yeah. where it was. Back there was forth. there's a lot of attempts for both sides, like 15, 16 attempts. I think it was 15, 17, yeah, something 17 like that. to them, and then, yeah, and 16 to us. And then we had more on target. Like I thought, we were good value for a win there. Yeah. Now, obviously, like yeah, considering previous weeks, like that was that was a very good result. Um, you got to say like two games unbeaten. <sighs> you, you know, obviously a win would have been massive. You know, we now go into Southampton, which Southampton is a massive game. That is now. a big, big game on Wednesday night. Whoever wins that has. A massive advantage over yeah. the other. But the thing is, at the minute, the two teams above the relegation zone are both winning currently, right now. Yeah. Everton are beating Leicester, which is a shock. And Aston Villa are beating Man United, which is I not don't a shock. Think, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> that, uh, that's no shock. I don't me. think either of them will actually end up winning. I think but, Villa will oh, draw. I don't know, but even if they do, like, then we're still miles behind. Like, yeah. So we ju we just got to keep going. That was a such much better performance. Uh, the last, the honestly, last couple of matchday vlogs have been very frustrating. And we'll kind of that. really just yeah, frustrating, disappointing. So, but yeah, I, we've got to stick behind these boys. They're putting a real effort today. Um, could be again a bit more clinical at times, but still we scored two today. Uh, good work. Yeah, I still gave us acres of room, but you got to finish them. We could have easily blazed them over. So yeah. great goal by Pookie. He's back. Todd Cantwell nearly Todd had a second Cantwell as well. Again, he's been brilliant, one of our own. Superb, really happy at the minute. You, so. you could say pretty much to a man, Yeah. Uh, everybody played really well today. Yeah. I thought everybody put in a really good um, performance. But yeah, obviously, yeah, we're giving Chelsea a game, lost. We're giving Arsenal a game, drew. We're giving Man City a game and won. So we now got to go to Southampton and give them a game. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and until the next video. Next Sunday. Next. Well. I'll be posting plenty of videos before then. Okay. Cool. Uh, right, yeah, thank sure you for 209 nice. subscribers as well, by the way, so thank you very much for that. And yeah, in the meantime, until the next video, I will see, see you then. You then.